hey guys welcome to my 2021 desk setup tour i'm not very fond of the design in this room like specifically the wooden fixtures that are everywhere the table is brown um the shelf is brown a lot of things here are brown which gives it a very vintagey vibe which i'm not a fan of so because i'm not very fond of a lot of things in this room this table was one of them and i didn't like that i didn't like this table because last year i used to love being on my table and i wanted the same for me this year like i can't hate everything in this room so i decided to customize it to my liking and do my best to make it something that i would love looking at and love sitting at and love working on which is what i did and i can't wait to give you guys a tour of that So this is the desk that I found when I got here. I don't know what type of wood they used, but it works and it's honestly strong. But the problem is it's a very dark brown. It does not fit my aesthetic. So in order to cover the harsh brownness that came from this desk, I got myself a gray mouse pad, a large gray mouse pad. Initially, I wanted a white one, but they honestly don't sell white ones anywhere. And then I bought this one from Take A Lot and it cost 200 rand 199 i do like how it covers the brown even though you can still see some of it the cable management in this desk isn't really that deep honestly i just tied all my cables and put them under the desk you can't see them when you are standing up straight the only time you'd be able to see these cables is if you were sitting on the floor or lying on the bed and looking under the table my main thing on this desk is my laptop it is an asus vivo book something 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 i don't know but i like it i use it for everything it's basically my computer school editing youtube entertainment it's basically my tv i really like it it gets the job done it is a core i5 it has 8 gig ram and it has one terabyte worth of storage i bought it from macro my laptop is currently sitting on this laptop stand that i got from take a lot if you've been watching my all of my videos you would have seen in one of my vlogs where i actually unboxed it and i love it it's strong it does not need to be assembled my laptop is quite heavy it's not a thin laptop but this laptop stand carries it perfectly without any pressure on it which i love and i also love this laptop stand because you can set it up one of two ways if you're one of those people that don't use a keyboard and would like to use your keyboard you can just adjust the laptop stand so that the keyboard is right in front of you but if you're like me and you have a keyboard you can keep it as is and then just place your keyboard underneath i like that there is storage under this laptop stand so i can put my books under them when i'm not using them i can put my keyboard i can tuck it in there when i'm not using it which leaves me with a lot more space on my desk and i love that i also got a keyboard because literally the first week after buying this laptop all of these keyboard keys or whatever they were falling off and this year it just got worse it got to a point where the p on the keyboard fell off and wouldn't stick back on so i was just like let me just go get a new um keyboard once i got a keyboard that's when i realized that i actually need a laptop stand so i got the laptop stand after getting the keyboard the keyboard has proven to be very functional i love it it's the fact that i can sit on my bed and type for me and then another thing that i have on this desk is my mouse it's a very basic mouse it's a wide mouse from genius i bought it at waterfront from this other computer store there it gets the job done it's wireless i love it before this i did have a cable mouse which i did not like the mouse cost 150 the keyboard cost 230 i think and then the laptop stand cost 500 and something i do have a speaker that i use when i'm using my laptop watching something listening to music but it does not stay on my desk because i just hate having it close to me it feels extra loud so i put it on my bed stand and it just stays there and i just use it while it's there another thing that i use for sound are my jbl headphones i don't know the specs of these headphones but they they were not cheap but for jbl headphones they were cheap 
I bought them at Droppers for 900 Rand and I like the fact that they are white because I do put them on my white lamp which I got from Macro for 230 Rand. So I was looking for a white lamp and I went online and this one was the cheapest one. So this was the cutest lamp I could find. It happened to fit everything, it was white and I was able to put a golf bulb on it if that's what you call it, baseball bulb. I don't know, but it's called a ball bulb or something. So when Macro advertised it online, it had this type of bulb. But when I went to the store, they didn't have these bulbs. So I had to go buy this bulb at Mr. Price home. And mm, it cost a hundred grand, but it's whatever. I like it. It's aesthetically pleasing to look at. And yeah, next to my lamp, we have my phone stand. And I use this to put my phone on when I am studying and using my phone as a timer or when I'm watching YouTube videos on my phone when I'm on my desk or when I'm just scrolling through TikTok. I usually just put my phone on that phone stand. I really like that it's adjustable. I like the color. I like that it was affordable. It cost, I think, 80 Rand at Value Co. And yeah, absolutely love it so on the other side of my desk i have this rabbit humidifier it's so cute i got it from take a lot it cost 200 rand i absolutely love it i love the aroma it creates when i put fragrance oils on it my favorite being vanilla i love anything vanilla absolutely i also have a coaster and a bottle i really tried to spray paint the coaster but it was a fail like it's winter so i do drink a lot of tea whenever i drink tea the mug would stick to the paint in the coaster and then the paint would come off which was not cute so i decided to stick with the original brown coaster even though i was trying to avoid buying brown things for my room i was just like okay it's fine and then on top of the coaster i just have my water bottle which i always keep on my desk it's just nice to always have a bottle filled with water on my desk next to it we have my absolute favorite thing which is this coconut and vanilla scented candle i absolutely love candles i cannot live without them i love the aroma that they create i love the vibe that they put into a room i had to get a small one for my desk so i got this one which is in a cement jar the colors are nice and they do match with this gray white aesthetic that i was trying to create on the side of my desk we have this magazine holder in it are my files and just my school books i had to get a white one previously i had a pink one but it just didn't match so i got this white one and it matches perfectly i also have my financial calculator sitting on there because i don't have anywhere else to put it next to that we have my sticky note holder which as you can tell by the name hold my sticky notes i absolutely love it it's very functional it's very cute i love that my sticky notes have somewhere to sit in and i love that it's also white it matches with the whole white gray theme that i have going on on this desk next to it we have my pen holder initially these two pen holders were black and i didn't like that i went to the store tried to get white ones they didn't have them i waited and i thought they were gonna order some they did not order any so i just decided to buy my own and then i bought white spray paint and i tried to spray paint them i did not do an amazing job but i did what i had to do the pen holders are white and yeah on this first pen holder i have a calculator a scissor highlighters and these markers on the other pen holder we just have my pens my normal writing pens my pencils a small ruler my lip therapy my hand lotion which i always keep on my desk we also have tissues which are great to have when you're working on a desk and then we also have these colorful pens and whatnots that are here and then we also have a couple of lens wipes sitting around in the pen holders and the sticky notes holders because I do tend to use them a lot to wipe my glasses, my phone, my camera, all of that. And then the nice thing about this desk is it comes with a pin board so I don't have anything to put on there but I did try to put a few things on there just so it's not too plain. If you've watched my previous videos you'll know that I tried to have uh, like pictures over there but it did not work so I ended up getting rid of them. The more I looked at them the, the tackier they got. So I had to get rid of them. 
so this is my desk but i also want to show you guys the two shelves that i have on top of my desk because they are also very functional and i think they kind of look cute so on my bottom shelf on the left hand side we just have my books i have about five books on there because my goal this year is to read a minimum of five books and so far i've only been through this one but i'm not mad about it i still have time for more books to go and then i just have my diary at the back there it's not a cute diary it's a very basic diary that i bought at cna this year because i didn't want to spend a lot of time looking for a diary and then we also just have this pen holder which has my glue another scissor and my stapler and then beneath it we have this fragrance oil which i use when i switch on my diffuser to the side we have this bag which i always keep here i don't know why i just feel like it keeps my books sturdy but i feel like it also works like somehow as like a decor piece i also have my wallet here sometimes when i go out i tend to just leave with my wallet i have this coaster as well here which i put my key on and like some spare change if i have some i have this plant that i bought from mr price home that i tried to diy because like this part the the pot was black i tried to paint it white and i i did not do a very amazing job but you know it's white so i just keep it there and then we just have these supplements omega-3 sitting there i like to keep them there like this and then we have my remote and then we just have this pink little thing that i got from mr price Home when I was still in high school in it it's just like a bunch of cables lens wipes press stick we have my power bank SD card reader um, my camera battery charger sellotape we just have a lot of random things in there and it's just nice to have them tucked away so that when you look at my shelf it looks like this instead of seeing all the nonsense that is in there and then these are just like extra lens wipes and then i also have my printer over here it's just a basic ass printer and then i have a long ruler at the corner over there my top shelf we have this plant which as you know is my favorite plant i put it inside this jar which used to have a candle but then the candle is finished so i just took the plant and put it in there just for steadiness we also have a couple of old books books that i bought a long time ago and then we have this plant also from last year it used to be in a container but then the glass container broke so and i don't want to throw it away so i just keep it here like this back there we have this speaker that i got from my papankulu it does not work i ruined it so i just keep it on there for decoration and to help keep my books sturdy and then we have my old camera which i barely ever used because it's such a complicated camera and the quality isn't that great but i just keep it on here because people say i shouldn't sell it they're saying i should just keep it as like a memory of my first ever camera behind it we have we just have this mini tripod and like a mic um so i put that over there including the mic that i have on right now it usually stays back there and then we have another coaster this one has um laundry tokens and this thing that covers the camera that i'm using right now it's very handy to have it keeps things organized and then on this side we just have two of my files they have work from previous years that i don't feel like throwing away so i just keep them on this file and yeah so that's it for my 2021 desk setup tour i hope you enjoyed it i've been so excited to film this video ever since i had the idea of buying some things to like just make my desk a place that i would like to sit on i've been so excited to finish and finally get the opportunity to film this video which i am so grateful that i finally got to do i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you have it i will see you all on my next video Bye.